Sup, 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 gamers, what are y'all doing? Wow, I am uh, showing you exactly what not to do with uh, my screen. Oh, no, no. This is, uh, this is pro recording here, y'all. This is pro recording. Nothing wrong with this. It's called, it's called Magic Watch. Gonna... Okay. It's called, it's called Magic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And magic. Oh, boom. Magic. Perfect magic. Don't ask questions. I'm a professional. 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 Completely a professional. Uh, I hope this is loud enough for you all. Uh, I am. If, uh, let's just bump it down. Yep. Alright. Audio bump down a little bit. Alright, we're going to, uh, as you can see, this is where I left you off in Breeze Home. 16 hours, 13 minutes, and this is where we're going to pick up, 1649. Uh, did a lot of, uh, did a bit of crafting, uh, stowed stuff, uh, got Esburn with me, and taking him to Riverwood, uh, safely, <laughs> so that Delphine can get him. Um, I have had some crashing issues, I believe I figured that all out, um, just me trying to run more things than I should at one time, um, that's my bad, not, you know, I mean, I guess I had a great enough thing I could uh, be recording and uh, uploading and uh, uh, exporting a, a file at the same time, but I can't do that. Uh, so we're fine. Uh, Esburn should be coming with us. Yep. Yep. Esburn and Lydia. Alright. So we did try and play, and uh, I found an interesting bug. If you show up at Delph, if you show up in Riverwood, because I showed up, I tried to record this episode already, and I got all the way to Riverwood before my game crashed, but I tried to get to Delphine, and Esbern apparently was about on the other side of the bridge from Riverwood, so about up there. Um, if you talk to Delphine before Esbern is in the inn with you, she flips out and is like, The Thalmor are out there! You have to save him! Go back out there immediately! I'm like, ooh, okay, Delphine. You could, you know, you're pretty, you know, skilled as well, and didn't you go through, you know, and get the horn of Jorgen Windcall. You you can't you can't you know come with me to get him. Whatever. Man, what a condescending uh, what a condescending uh, guard. Should report him to a superior officer. Like the thane of the. Oh wait a second. Nah, that sounds like effort. Talk to the thane of a uh, white run. But yeah, gamers. Uh, we got we got we got some improvements. We uh, got a new microphone. We'll see how that all works out. Um. Yeah, we're just, we're keeping with the daily uploads. Um, we might not be, I, I, I Mother Gunship, I should have t done some more testing. Um, but Mother Gunship will, I don't, I don't know if we'll do the whole plot or it'll just be, I might just be picking it up and playing it whenever, just cause I love it. I don't really don't care about the plot. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some campy twist or something in it, but not really interested in the plot too much um, because that's the game that really caused my stuff to crash uh, I need to change my settings and make sure it's all fine um, and something weird happened with Warhammer 40k the uh, I'll be recording more episodes of it but for some reason my uh, going with Steam and playing offline when I went back online the uh, campaign I was in was like oh well you haven't completed any missions and I'm like bleh, 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 bleh. I completed I completed three missions. It should be on there. So I'm just going to replay through those three missions offline, and on the fourth mission, I'll start recording again. So like I said, we'll still be recording that. It'll just take a second. Um, but, I mean, there's always Skyrim. Always Skyrim. Running solid. Running solid. We're at 57 frames per second. 59 with jumping. 58 with jumping. 57... Okay. Solid 57 to 59 frames. Oh, 58. Yeah. So, we're good. Alright. Hey, Lydia. Hey, hey, Lydia. Lydia. You like RP, don't you? Where's Esburn? Esburn should be right here. Esburn! Esburn, come on. And I still have my map marker from uh, when I left uh, the, the uh, embassy or whatever. Come on, Esburn. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 
camel. I have to say, I don't know what his boots are. I guess they're... Oh. Okay. It looks like he's wearing mage boots. Those black mage boots that you find on mages. But, huh. I actually look decent with those uh, leg, with those pants. It's one thing I can't forgive Skyrim for. There's no... Uh, there's no uh, 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 leg armor. There's just feet uh, armor. I, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, it's real popping with one yes. clientele. One is burned. She's totally got a hidden away place we can talk. No one knows about it except possibly the barkeep because from his line of sight at the bar. Yeah, if he's yeah, 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 he can he can totally see. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never walked through hanging dead rabbits. This is hilarious. All right, guys, don't. Don't don't abuse dead hanging rabbits in real life though. It's it's just it's, it's a game. It's it's fine. Now then. Okay. I assume you know about. Oh yes, Dragonborn, indeed. Yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. We must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Esbern, what? He's got a book. Me just a that I'm gonna moment. take. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. See, right here, Skyhaven mm -hmm. Temple. Yep. Constructed around one of the main Akabiri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? No. Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Hall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Guys, stay hydrated, gamers. Either of you? No. Let's pretend we haven't. What's Aldrin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Yep. Aldrin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all the news of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I've found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. Forgotten. The blades' archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee. Never is. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. Oh, come on. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's nope. talking about. Near what's now. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. I'll meet you. I'll meet you, because I already got call. Lydia. Might be safe. Don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you in your carved spider. But you Good couldn't luck. take him. Okay. Let me see if I can get rid of any soul gems. I cannot. Ah, wait. No. I didn't get that, did I? I didn't get... I thought... Yeah, I did. I did. We're enchanting. Well, we don't have any grand soul gems. Okay. We have no grand soul gems. All right. All right. Well, now. That's something to think about. What? Take care of yourself, Orgnar. She just... Goodbye. Yeah. Sure. You too, Delphine. You be safe. What? We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. I just, Until I never time. noticed she's like, hey, Orgnar, I'll probably never be back here. Take the bar. <laughs> um, and also, I will probably be doing the peace talks for the Civil War at some point. Um, I gotta start the Imperials. Um, if I, if I just do the first, like, Imperial quest or two, I'll, I'll be good. Man, these torches are still burning down his place. Um, I believe we're going to be going through Falkreath for this one, because we got plenty of Whiterun stuff. It would be shorter, I think, to 
go over here and mm. so if we go this way I'm just going up the river and mm. we're gonna go along the north of the lake and probably cut through here at the latest we'll cut through here go into white run for this stretch because it'll be so much easier than this mountainous bullshit um or we might just go straight we'll see we're gonna cross these mountains at some point I don't want to cross them in here We'll see, though. It'll really depend on what uh, 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 dungeons I run into and actually go into. Um, but, you know, don't admit that when your character is a kleptomaniac in the game. Did I get it? Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. We're really just going to be going along the north side of the lake. And, uh... Finding out what there be there. Oh, I can't get you, can I? I got you. I got you. Right. Mmm. That's not dignified. Oh, there's little... These for Agnes's house or whatever? These little path markers? That's what these are. If, you've, if you're if you ever like, oh, why are they these stacked rocks? They're path markers. Oh, no. This is the... I didn't know there were steps for this. This is the back side, I believe? Or the... Yeah, this is the town side of this tower on the way up to Bleak's Fall. I didn't know there was a little... Interesting that there's stairs there. So is this iron? Yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah, okay. I know where I'm... Oh, y'all repopulated. Time to end this little game. Okay, let me get my battle axe out there for ending this game. Instant kill. I'm sorry, you didn't. You're a bandit. You don't. You don't deserve to live. Now, where'd your buddy's loot go? Where'd your buddy's loot go? Okay, hey buddy. No. No. We're only picking up weapons or armor if I'm gonna use them, or if they're worth a pretty penny. So essentially, if they're enchanted, or if it's like Ebony or Daedric out of, you know, left field nowhere. I didn't know there were steps up to this. Oh. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. some sort eventually can break through uh, blocks. I just can't remember whose or what kind of weapon it is. No, it's just... They don't break through uh, maces and uh, warhammers. Um, ignore <coughs> armor. Oh, that actually hurt. Ignore a certain amount of armor from enemies. So, even if they got their shield up, you're gonna hurt them. Alright, we're doing a mic bump. The mic's a little high. Let's try it there. You know, that whole need to see your screen play a game. What the hell? What do I know? Alright. You know, we're probably not getting to, uh, 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 wherever, uh, the temple today. I, I bet you. Um, oh, another bump. Uh, we're probably gonna get... Oh, you popped right into existence right in front of me. Um, we'll probably get, I hope, I hope we'll get, like, to the actual rift. But we'll see. Yeah, you little... You little necromancer lady, or you never find she's evil. I know that you find some I'm evil just stuff. a poor old woman. Dear. You're not no though, need to trouble yourself. because where's your journal? Oh, I'm gonna read this because I'm I want the free skill. So deal with it. Yeah, there's evidence in in her cellar that she's like I think either like a necromancer or something. I don't know. I don't really care right now. I can kill her later. We can. <laughs> We can kill NPCs at a different point in time. <laughs> Doesn't have to be right now. I don't know, Xanthar is more of a kleptomaniac than he is a straight up murderer, but he might be interested in items she has, which means when we get that sneak skill up, we'll be back here to collect. Xanthar, what are you doing? Collecting. Oh, baby, got it. Come on. Parkour. Parkour. You never seen Argonian do parkour? Parkour. Oh, oh, no, no, no more parkour. 
Bleak Falls is up there somewhere, the exit. Is it there? Somewhere up there. Who knows? Oh, what is this? Corindium? Yep, yeah, useless. I don't want you. Yeah, I'm not rushing my uh, smithing skill as much anymore. Where does this go? Is this part of... Because there's a ruined fort over there, I thought. There's a cave there, too. But what's this? So we go out here. What do we got? Nothing. It's just the end. It's just a useless dock. With some nerd root out on this island. What is that? Oh, wolves. I, was like, I thought it was slaughterfish, but I'm like, slaughterfish don't bark. At least last time I checked. There you are. Oh, come on, you kid. Thine cowards. That's... Okay, that's a dragon. That's a dragon. We need to be on shore for that. We need... Oh, looks like Lydia's mopping up over here. That's good. Good job, Lydia. Good job. Yeah, I'm not doing... Land, thou foul beast. Come on, dog. I'll fight you. Come on, dog. Come on. Come on. Stop waffling, dog. This is one waffling dragon, I'll tell you that. Okay, if you're not going to fight me, dog, I'm just going to keep going into this cave, and you can do whatever the hell you want to do. We are checking out this cave, probably. If it's the cave, I think it is. Hey, look, a cave. Thanks, Lydia. What's inside? Yep, we're going into this cave, because I believe this goes through... We might go, actually. Mm, yeah, we're going through it. I believe this goes entirely through this mountain pass. Ignore the fact that it looks like it doesn't go in there. Oh, I believe I got a level from crafting that I took without y'all. I believe I took, uh... I believe I took this skill, and... I had a gamer yawn in there. Had to get it in. Uh, I had a... Uh, I took magic. I'm gonna get them all 200. Because I think... Hey, Lydia, set that trap off for me. Draugr? Okay... It's over here. I don't think there's anything in this room, really. I think it's just like, hey, come in. All right, Lydia, I'm going to walk around this. You need to walk around it as well and not set it off. Oh, that's a skeleton right there. A little skelly. Someone's talking with someone, and they're like, magic and, uh, and, uh, and uh, range are OP, and I'm like, they're not OP, it's just, usually with one of those, you pretty much always, you sneak, and with the other one, sneaking is helpful, and or you're not putting yourself in direct combat, whereas with uh, magic and uh, archery, you're ideally not in combat at all. <laughs> you're ideally putting out so much DPS or causing defensive stuff up that you don't have to do straight up combat. Oh god, come on. Come on. Right on the nipple? Ugh, just a little bit, little bit before the nipple. Right, right before the nipple. Right there. Yep. Ugh, I lied. There? Even further away from the nipple than I thought. Man, is this, is this moving? Okay. I don't even know what trap that would set off. I guess, oh, well, that would explain it. That, that would be the trap it would set off, is that mace. Or, not a mace, what is it called? A uh, spiky ball on a chain. A flail, that's what it's called if it's in your hand, a flail. I've got a bad feeling. Shh, shh, don't say a word, Lydia. They can hear us before they see us. Oh, we're taken. Uh, nice. Okay, let me get some poison for that guy. Uh, 
Let me see if I have. Oh, wait. We're gonna use my frostbite. We need to. We need to get through it anyway. Ascendant. I don't know what the hell ascendant means. All right. All right. Just magicka. Let's get in here. Elven battle axe and put some frostbite venom on it. Oh. Ascendant. I've never fought an Ascendant. I don't know what the hell... I mean, I guess it's just... I've gotten really good at being a mage, I guess. I don't know. Ash pile, a silver necklace, and unlock you for the XP. I love that. I love that. You know, that's perfect. That's just, that's what I needed right there. Okay. Anything over here other than this bow? Oh, we got some arrows. And I'll sell those. I don't really like... Other than frostbite, because frostbite's just... there's You can get so much of it. I don't really like the uh, lingering... Po yeah, these boots. This is must, what he must have been wearing. They didn't look too bad. Alright. He got any... Okay, put this up. He got some books. Sendence and the drummer. Ancestors. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not reading books. I uh, will go ahead. And, if there's any book requests, you know, I'm sure, you know, Lusty Argoni Made might be requested. But if there's a book request for me to read a book, I'll read a book. Or if it's, like, plot-wise important to the story. Doesn't chant now. I got, I got, I got some stuff. I got a necklace I can chant. Okay. Fortify two hand, let me guess. 188. Yep. Oh! One hand and two hand are the same at 188. Okay. In that case, we'll go with, uh, we'll go two hand though. Yep. Oh, so close, so close. Probably two levels. Is my, what's my, what is my DPI at? There's the right DPI. I was like, dear God, is it really that slow? That's not what I wanted. I didn't want you. Get out of here. I want this bow. This is a path. There's a chest here. Any booby trap? Any, any trap? Nope. Nice. 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 Uh, it's worth a pretty penny. We'll take it. Uh, mm. It's not worth as much, but we'll still take it. And that's definitely worth a lot. That's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's worth it. Am I going... What is with this mouse? I hear a guy, like a skeleton. It sounds like he's right on top of me. Or I might be right on top of him. Yeah, what the hell is this? This is a stone platform held in place by ropes. And I don't think I can get up there at all. Lydia? Lydia? It's fine, Lydia. It's fine. See? Worked out perfectly fine, Lydia. Get that hanging moss. Anything else over here, up here? Nope. Okay. Walk the plank over to here. Alright. Nice. Nice. This is going good. This is going good so far. What do we got over here, though? Oh, uh, some soul gems. Uh, oh, soul gem traps. I uh, cannot uh, take my arm out, my right arm out, easily. Uh, this this uh, this boom mic they gave me is probably a, I'd say at most a three foot in total boom mic with you know each section of it being about a foot and a half at most. So it's a little tight. I want. I, th I was thinking a little bit bigger of a boom. Uh, I used to. 
I used to do some drafting, and on the drafting table, I had a pretty big uh, boom mic. Uh, not a not a mic, but a, a boom to you know for my light to move it around, and it was very helpful. And this boom is a little bit less. Uh, uh, it's not as large as that. Can I get up? That's not where I came from. I don't think I can get up there. Okay. Anything over here? Okay. No one's in here, right? I think I'm around, right? Okay, nothing. Nothing. All right, I guess just up. Just up here. Can get that hang, uh, hanging moss, though. Okay. Let's go, gamers. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. We're already, we're not already on the other side. I guess we, we might be. This might. There's a couple passes hey, through these mountains. What's in hey, hey, Lydia. We. Look, Lydia. We just huh? went through that cave. You and I just walked through that cave. You, you need to get your brain checked or something. Because we just went through that cave. I'm worried about you, Lydia. That's, that's all I'm. I'm just worried, okay? Yeah, there's another pass, I thought, through these mountains. Okay, dragon. You can come and fight me, or you can stop flying around and being an, uh, an annoyance to the audio. Alright? Make up your mind. Fight me, give me your soul and your dragon bones. Well, really, fight me, die, give me your soul and give me your dragon bones. Or GTFO. Either one. I am fine either way. Nope. We're picking up iron, just because it's universally useful. And we're getting a stretch in, gamers. Make sure you stretch. Oh, you like to, to stretch when I yawn, but you don't have to yawn when you stretch. You don't have to stretch when you yawn. You can yawn when you yawn. You can stretch when you stretch. They're not mutually exclusive, but it's just how I do it. But stretching is the more important thing to do. Uh, I mean, yawning, you know. You can yawn all you want, but... Stretching, you know. Keep your blood flow going where it needs to go. Keep your uh, extremities working. You know, limber up. Keep limber. This, this cavern. Okay, yeah, this, yeah, bloated man's grotto. This doesn't go through, does mm -hmm. We're checking it out. We're checking it out, gamers. We're going to get to level 29 from it, probably. Well, it sounds like a bear cave to me, or a troll cave, immediately, right off the bat. Definitely a bear cave, okay. I hate this. Detected already? By what? Oh. I don't know if they detect me or what. Hmm. I like I detected out the wazoo, but that first attack was a sneak attack somehow. Okay. Draw your arrow. This is weird. That was... Exceedingly weird. Oh, this is a nice little... Okay, this is an actual, like... It's not even a cave, really. It's a, it's a grotto, you could say. Weird, those guys didn't attack me. Anything up here? Anything up on this le... Oy, hey, that's nice. That is always nice. Not nice to break your lockpicks, though. Although, just spec into lockpicking and turn any of your lockpicks. Turn any lockpick in the world into the skeleton key. Because you can. Oh god, some of my eye. I got it. I got it. Just, you know, workplace. Workplace hazards. This place seems really familiar, but I don't remember it at all. There's two paths? Uh, Lydia, there's two paths. Can you go the other way and I'll go this way? We're going, we're going with the right one, Lydia. Rabbits. Oh! I really need to work on the block. Okay. Yeah, that slow mo right before the power attack saved me so many times. Get my bow back out. 
can take that level up. Uh, so we are even closer. Excuse me, I almost had to sneeze. We are even closer to 120. Okay, what do I want? I can do heavy armor. I think. So I've. Mm. Let me. Okay, which one's the worst off? Block is the worst off. So let me improve, improve block. So I have that. I can get that. Ugh, deflecting arrows would be pretty nice too. I don't know what a power bash is. Let me just get this. So. Alright. So my next three levels, I gotta put into two handed, one handed, and archery. And what's light armor at? Am I stuck on light? Yeah, I'm just yeah, light armor. I'm just stuck at. I can't do anything on right now. All right. So let me leave it on two-handed. Oh man! Oh, Spr Sprig and Matron, guys. <laughs> Friggins, man, they just, they just scare, they just scare the crap out of me. Because like that, I looked right here and I was like, hmm, top of that looks funny. Oh wait, it's friggin' Matron. Oh, I can kind of parkour up this, can't I? I can't. I think I can, but I can't. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, hold on. Yeah! Sit. Okay. I'm telling you, this new boom mic is great, but let me just uh, readjust it. Firstly, anytime I adjust it, just dear God, everything seems to not come apart, but it just all seems to be perfectly balanced, and you can't put it out of balance at all. All right, what is up here? Let me just. I did say we were gonna just sort and shield or shield. Oh man. <laughs> Why not? That's not what I do. You coming, Lydia? You coming? Come on. Come on, Lydia. Up these steps. No, I don't know what this place is. It just seems interesting, and we're checking it out, and we're recording it, so deal with it, Lydia. Let's go. Get the move on, Lydia. Man, there's just... Oh, what is this? What is this? This is the gold ore. And a waterfall that goes no... Nowhere? This goes literally nowhere. It just goes right here. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. Okay, good. It's like, oh, no. Get that gold ore while I'm here. Okay, this I, I've never found this place before, but I'm liking it so far. Very interesting in its level design, I'd say. If you wanted a, you know, opinion on it. Because that's where I walked up. Oh, that's the... Hold on. If that's the Spriggan... Oh, this is... The, so I'm right above that turn back. Okay. And I, I don't think I can parkour up this. I can parkour around it. Oh! Oh, I can parkour up here. Okay. Okay. Oh, a little shrine to Talos up here. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I can stay up here. I mean, I can. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh! Well, I'm gonna have to check out that nest up there. But, let me get everything up here. Oh, Lydia. Lydia, you gotta go instigating. Okay, Lydia, I'll, I'll help you out with the bow. Oh, well. That was a quick kill. Quicker than I thought it would be. But, good job, Lydia. Oh, 
gonna have plenty of hanging moss after this. Uh, hanging moss, there it goes. Lydia, I'm gonna go check out that bird's nest, I'm pretty sure. What is... Really? Huh. Wow. Okay. Made no sense, but... You know, alright. Is that... Okay, okay, okay. We got a couple spriggans and... You know, Die. Give me that soul and die. Oh, did you? Nice job, Lydia. You 1v1'd him. Or, I mean, I guess you almost 1v2'd both of them, but... I, I came in at the last minute, so, you know. Was it really all you? It's like wheat in there. It's probably just generic, uh... Generic plant, uh, texture number five. It's probably what it is. It's probably not wheat at all. Okay. Love this place. I guess it's looping back around to that other way. Ooh, greater soul gem, baby. What is... Okay. Oath blade. Who is this? Balor? Balar? Bolar. Bolar's writ. Bolar's writ. To he who finds this, well, that's that's a little bit sexist right off the bat. You know, could be he, she, they, it. You know, could be a ginger prince. Okay. To he who finds this, know that I, Achilles Bolar, last of the blades to survive the attack on Cloud. Okay, Cloud Ruler Temple took refuge here in this ancient sanctuary. The Thalmor have come for me, but they, they shall not desecrate this place. They go forth to meet my death with honor. If you are worthy, take up my blade and do the same. Okay, so one of the last blades existed. Okay, makes sense. Let's go to the Shrine of Talos. Let's see what his Oath Blade does. It's one-handed. 25 points of stamina damage. And creatures and people up to level 12 flee from combat for 30 seconds. I'm not going to use that right now. But it's a pretty good, it's a, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good weapon. Pretty good weapon. I'll keep it. There'll probably be a wall hanger somewhere. I'm not taking this. Okay. Ooh, 45 pounds to spare. And I haven't even dipped into Lydia yet. That dipped into Lydia is the wrong term for that. Um, I should say I have 45 pounds left and I have yet to ask Lydia to carry anything. Dipped into Lydia might, you know, might, might give the wrong idea. Oh, I need an axe. Come on. Oh, right in the jaw. Okay. Can I get... Yeah, it looks like I should be able to get up there somehow, but I don't know if I can. Okay. Nothing on you, nothing, nothing. Excuse me, gamers. Wee bit of a burp. Uh, yeah, it's just okay. I can get up here, but there ain't nothing up here. Um, put that up. Dogs in the background. If you hear them, they're fine. They're just dogs. They cannot hurt you through a computer or through whatever device you seem to be uh, listening to this on. Give me the battle axe. I'm not gonna block these guys. Oh. Uh. Two hits and they dead. Two hits and they dead. Love it. That sounds like a spriggan. Okay, two hits and she dead. Or it dead as well. Man, I'm doing more damage with a uh, two hand than I thought. Okay. Any more Spriggans that want to show themselves? This 
it's gotta loop back around, right? Yeah, because this is the other path I thought about taking. Okay, so it totally loops. All right. Well, this has been great. This has been a great little little sidetrack. All right, let's get the bow back because we're going back into Skyrim. Maybe hunt some things. Who knows? Continuing on our way. Oh, we'll probably not go into another dungeon on this episode. Probably just keep walking. Unless I find something hey, interesting. Look, oh, my God. What's inside. Lydia, Lydia. We really got to talk about your ability to remember what just happened to you because it seems like you can't and i'm worried for you that seems what do we now you want to fight okay all right oh. oh you're a named dragon okay do you have a thing near here a base or whatever come on buddy come on i don't know why he's got a name now That's the other good thing about having um, enchantments on weapons. You can A, if, it, if the enchantment takes effect on the enemy when you hit them with it, they A, I want the, yeah, they A get to, uh, you either get a message saying that they weren't affected by the enchantment so you know that you hit them, or B, a visual effect happens with them that you know, you know, like when you, when you have a fire enchantment on an enemy, you hit them with that weapon, they get lit up with fire <laughs> alright let's get some stamina in here and a little bit of health wouldn't hurt alright nice 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 I will now take your bones and your soul well hey yo Lydia Burdens Lady, M Mrs. Burdens Carrier, I mean, uh, uh, Lydia, what's your name? Still here. Need to trade some things with I you. Am sworn yeah, I know you are, you've, you've told me a lot, and the way you say it really hurts my feelings, like you wouldn't carry this stuff otherwise, but you know, I know you mean well, right? Real quiet, Lydia, you, you mean well, right? You're not you're not peeved to carry all this stuff. You're you're fine, Lydia. We we cool, we cool, we cool. Her and I cool. Yeah, right, right, Lydia. We're cool. You lead, I'll follow. See, we cool, we cool. All right, give me give me your soul, buddy. I I gotta look this guy up. I've never I don't. He might have a place near here because usually if they're named, they chill out. Voljot. Right? Vuljatnak? Vuljatnak? Man, the, 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 these dragons and their names. I believe Alduin's the most normal sounding name, I think. I haven't looked through all the names, but to me, Alduin seems pretty. I mean, it's also. They talked about him and merch and everything and advertised him, so. They, they, they said how his name was pronounced. It's not like people were just guessing, uh, like I am with a lot of the names in this game. Okay. Oh, man. See, the issue here is... My inventory's almost... Ah, I just dump it on Lydia. That's the other good thing you can do. You can always be like, Hey, Lydia, you have all this equipment. Go home, and she'll carry it all home. I don't want to go and take that on today, that... Uh, fortress. It's annoying. And I usually have issues with... Usually when I get up top, there's enemies that spawn inside buildings, like glitched inside the building, not like you open the door and they're inside the building. So that's, he might have just spawned from here actually, that dragon. You know, he might not have, he, not be, he might not be guarding a word wall, he might just be, just came back to life and it's like, oh, I'm back to life, time to fight it. Oh, dragonborn, let me kill him. And then, you know, that went well for him. Those are the Imperials up there? Okay, me and the Imperials are cool. I mean, the Stormcloaks, mm, yeah, not so much. 
Okay. Dose? Dose. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Hunting this game. Actually, not too bad. Especially when you do a whole character as it. You know, all, all, all he does is hunt and craft, craft gear to hunt with and uh, to sell. Okay. We have a cave over there. Oh, uh, I know what cave that is. We're not, we're not going there. We ain't going there. We will discover this shrine or whatever. Even though there's like three or four unmarked shrines all throughout here, it's just they're all different, different ones. Where are we? We want to get rid of that. Okay, remove, remove it. Okay. I guess here. That's after the dungeon and everything. Not the dungeon, the the fortress or whatever. Is that a dragon attacking Rorkstead? <laughs> Didn't take me far at all. It looks like there's a dragon over there attacking Rorkstead. I guess I should get over there. I didn't think it's all the way at Rorkstead, though. Alright, did discover? Okay. Do we got anything we want here? I'll take it because it's worth money. from a saber cat in my armor up. I mean, he's pretty much at Rorkstead. <laughs> kind of off of Rorkstead. Gosh, two dragons already. I mean, I know they increase their spawning whenever, uh, as you go through the main quest line, but there's like two right after one after another, man. That's not Alduin, is it? No. No. That might be Alduin. Yeah, okay. It's Alduin. He's... I guess he's summoning another dragon that I gotta take care of. It's totally what's going on. It's totally what's going on. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. You're not wanted. Can I? No. Well, I can hit him. I just can't do damage to him, I guess. And he's deucing out. I can take him. I can take whatever dragon this is. Come on, Alduin. Your, friend, your friend's going to be chopped liver in a second. You're going to come back and save his butt. Huh. Okay. So, I guess he stopped summoning him back to life. Okay, that's weird. What are we doing? What are we doing? Mm, oh yeah, I can just head straight toward the marker. But that is weird. Maybe if I wait an hour. <laughs> just waits an hour outside of an actively regenerating dragon mound thing. Yeah, it'd be fine. This, this is what I hate about it. Like, I mean, I'm sure it's not. The heights in this game are weird at times. Topographically. Because if this is as high as... This looks like it's as high as... I would say there. I mean, not up there, but even the mountain range that way, this feels as tall as it. the rift does. It's because you... I don't know why, but... It, it, it's like you got to go up into the rift, which would make sense, but also... Wouldn't be an issue if you just went down into the rift. Is that an old tower over there? Well, this is something. Oh, vampires? Well, hello, fireball. Hello. Hello. Let's get some, uh, uh, sorry, that one, that's what I wanted. And then let's get some healing in here. And 
Let's get, uh, and we need a shit. Let me get any of it. Come on. I'm telling y'all, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for a steel plate. What, what can I say? An Argonian? Oh, he's a vampire thrall. Where's the actual vampire? That was all you got. Bash your face in. You don't need no face. All right. All right, where's, where's the vampire? Oh, we don't have a vampire yet. Moldering Ruins. I bet you there's a vampire in the Moldering Ruins. Lydia, what bow you got? I think Elvin's better than what you got. I'm not sure, though. But we'll check. Is this the entrance? I guess that's... Well, it's an entrance. It's always an entrance. What bow you got? Still here. I am sworn to you got a dwarven bow at 26. Okay, so... You're gonna get a. Okay, I don't wanna. Yeah. Carry it for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Staff of fireballs, because I don't. That might have been a bad idea to give to you, but I think it's fine. Mm. You're gonna put that on if I give it to you. Alright, I'm good. I'm good on it. Oh. Well, Lydia. Okay, there we go. Well, guys. You know Xanthar's interested in vampires, and he can't let one go away without checking it out. So he's gonna check out the vampire hold. Um, yeah, moldering ruins. Moldering, molding, moldering. Huh. Okay. We're probably gonna end this episode at some point in here. So we're not getting there today, and we'll probably even go back. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're gonna, we're gonna, the plan is to finish up this place, go do the quest and find Alduin's wall and everything, and uh, in that process find out a very important thing about this video game. How much crap can Lydia haul before she gets over encumbered? <laughs> if she ever does get over encumbered. Which I don't know if she does. Ah, here you are. Oh. Uh. Does Lydia's fire damage affect me as well? Oh, let me get some poison. Why not? Uh, use that. Uh, uh, magic. Restore stamina. Do I have a... I need to restore health. 23? Okay. Yeah! I have almost no health. Okay, cool. Do I have? I got regeneration. I'll take another one of that, I guess. I guess we just poison my rat in. Golly! Golly, doing a lot of damage. Okay. stamina there. Good job, Lydia. I don't think you had a large enough thing for him anyway. Okay. That might be all this ruin is, is just, just him in here, which is what it seems like it is. Got the chest here. Random urn here. Is that it? I guess that's it. It's just this place. Okay. Juniper berries. I wonder if she's still making with the juniper berries in it. What is, is this? Just this is just a little hidden place. Oh, Lydia, come on. Ash pile. Seems like it was a skeleton or a draugr. 
This is an interesting little place. That is one thing I would like to see from Fallout 4 in the next Skyrim game, though, is uh, be able to create uh, uh, set. Not, you you wouldn't call them settlements. I mean, you you, you could do full on. You know, oh, there's areas for you to build. Do you want to turn it into a fort? Do you want to turn it into a trading post? That would be interesting, especially because I don't know why, but for some reason, Skyrim. Both Skyrim and Oblivion feel world-wise emptier, in a way, than, uh, Ob yeah, Skyrim and, yeah, Skyrim and Fallout 4, in some way to me, especially in 4 if you don't count the, uh, settlements, they seem emptier of NPCs and towns than the previous games that f preceded them, so... In Oblivion, you had a, to me, it seemed like you had a lot more, you know, random inns along the side of the road, that kind of thing. And in Fallout 3, it was... Fallout 3 was kind of funny, because you had the subway system, but everything was kind of packed in together and close by, so you never went long without running into some sort of either town, settlement, raider base, or something, but... I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a video game player. A pro, a professional video game player. <laughs> yeah. All right. So gamers, uh, after me rambling about stuff I don't know about and uh, stuff I enjoy in these games and uh, playing these games, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call it here. I think with this nice little overlooking view into the rift uh, with White Run hold behind us and what looks to be, I guess Alduin just. I've never captured these moments where like Alduin summoning a creature. Except for the one with Delphine. So I'm not sure. <laughs> yawning. Get a good yawn in there, gamers. I'm not sure if it's... I'm not sure if you have to leave Alduin alone until he summons the guy. And then kill him or what. But it seems I've glitched that one. Or that one is now glitched. So we'll probably on our way back from whatever this mission check it out. In which case I should probably... Eh, let's say it's right there. Let's say it's right there. It's close. It's pretty close. All right, so we'll keep that there. Like I said, we'll end here. We'll save. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me save over, not that one. Let me save over that one because it was right before. Like I said, gamers, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. And really just watch what you enjoy and support what you enjoy. All right, gamers, until next time. Take care, and I'll see you next time.